thank you, Dianza, for the permission. Uh, you know, I always would like to begin with the permission of the host, obviously. Uh, Sagun, sir, welcome, uh, and thank you for your help. Um, and thank you, everyone, for being here. We have 53 people in the house today. Uh, so uh, can you all see my screen? Can you give me a, you know, uh, maybe a thumbs up? All right. You can, in fact, give a thumbs up from the reaction, you know, uh, button on your Zoom window. Um, and uh, Dian, sir, could I also check with you uh, about the language? Uh, do you want me to speak only, uh, I mean, do, do you want me to do this in English or do you want me to code mix the language? I prefer code mixing, sir. All we right, have okay. mix of people here. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, that, th that's a, a good bit of info. Uh, right. Okay. I think... So what I'll do is I'll hide this, I'll hide this right now. Uh, feel free to jump in at any time and interrupt me if I need to, you know, go faster, you know, do um, say maybe slow, uh, slow down a bit or repeat. All right. Um, thank you. So what I'll do today is uh, I'll talk about, you know, uh, what, I mean, I'll talk about the aspects that makes a teacher uh, digitally competent. I'm very careful in using the terms here. I haven't used uh, digital literacy or ICT literacy. I think Sagunji, you know, Sagun sir and uh, we have had long discussions around ICT literacy, digital literacy, and digital competencies. Um, you know, because my area of uh, interest and my area of expertise are within competencies. Obviously, they fall within literacies, but I still like to call them competencies for different reasons. And I'll talk about them, you know, uh, maybe during the. Uh, you know, um, session today. So what I'll do is uh, I'll say the title of the title of my presentation is visible on your screen. Uh, feel free to you know um, ask any questions you have around that. All right, all right. So some ground rules for the session. Uh, please keep your mic on mute. Tapir ko mic prepare mute ma rakti nu hola. Unless you have any questions, ra tapir ke questions sodnu sa bolle ra sodnu man laiye ko sa bani. Dian sir lai, Atha Sagun sir lai, message ma prepare message pataun hola. I think that that will help us manage the participants because it's 61 people. Imagine 61 people speaking, you know, at the same time. So it's going to be very chaotic. So it's for that reason we'd like you to be on mute. You know, nothing otherwise. All right. Tapir ko video se on rakhna sakun hunsa if you like. It's good to speak to you know people with real face rather than the blank screen. Rat session amle record suru recording su suru gari sake ko song. Rat session ko link se azur lai. We'll share the link maybe in 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 a few days time. Please ask any questions you have via chat during the session. However, I'll stop you know a couple times during the session for questions and obviously we'll have some question times at the end. Rat maile agi na pani dian sala request kare ko thi. If you don't have menti sorry. If you don't have a Menti app on your mobile phone, please do download it. Uh, it's going to help us um, do a couple of quizzes during the session. Menti Menti Don't worry about it. You can still use your website and you know uh, do the quiz. Uh, but if you have mobile, if you have your app on the mobile phone, it's easier. Okay? So the agenda for the present uh, for the session today, uh, I'll be talking about what digital competencies is. Uh, I'll try to localize it to our context. I'll try to give examples so that uh, you know we have a shared understanding of what it is. And I'll talk about TPAC. Uh, so TPAC being a framework, uh, and I'll you know we'll do a breakout session where you know I'll I'll I mean we'll ask you to uh, maybe talk about you know. Uh, Talk, talk on a certain thing, uh, maybe for a couple of minutes, uh, and then we'll do some reflections and discussions. And uh, lastly, I'll wrap up the session by discussing what should teachers know. So uh, teachers like Kitha, just to kick it, we have to digitally competent. I'm sorry, I didn't have to say any technology. We won't be talking about that much of We won't be talking about that much of technology. के के कुरा चाहिँ जान्नु पर्छ तपाईहरु सक्षम हुनको लागि के कुरा चाहिन्छ भन्ने कुरा चाहिँ यसमा छलफल गर्छौ र यसमा कन्टेक्स्टको कुरा तपाईको स्कुलको कुरा तपाईको चाहिँ तपाईको स्कुल तपाईको लोकल कन्टेक्स्टको कुरा त्यसको बारेमा अलिअलि छलफल हुन्छ है त विथ द्याट आई वुड लाइक यु टु वाच दिस भिडियो यो अलिकति बिट अफ अ फन तर इट क्यारीज लट अफ मिनिङ अभियसली वी नट वाचिङ द होल थिङ इट्स अराउन्ड 11 11 सेकेन्ड्स है त सुरु गरौ है त Good, 
All right, so that's it. Mero lagi saying yo tetti particular scene le saying it carries you know much deeper meaning. तो एकदम एक कॉमेडियल यू नो कॉमेडी पर्पस का लागी बना को ह्यूमर का लागी बना है को आई मीन ड्यू क्रेडिट तू सुमन यू नो आई थिंक हिज नेम इस सुमन एंड ड्यू क्रेडिट तू कांतिपुर टेलीविजन बट द मैसेज दैट यू नो दिस पीस ब्रिंग्स तू मी इज बियोंड यू नो व्हाट आई कुड यू नो व्हाट आई कुड ड so what it's telling us is that while you could do a lot of things with an iOS device, with an Apple phone, which this person is carrying, you know, if you don't know what you, you know, what the device actually does and, you know, what values it brings to you, such a useful tool becomes a device for voice call and its functions are reduced to two buttons. यो आईफोन की हो रहा अस्वाद से आईफोन भी तो किकी करने सके इंसान आईफोन को जो फंक्शनलिटीज लाये कौशल प्रयोग करने सके इंसान बने कुछ जानू वाले ना बने आईफोन उठाना चालू ना जान देना स्टैंड देना स्टैंड थे और ये वाले उठाने रात वाले कार्ड नहीं बने कुछ दो इटा बटन मतलब था उनसे तेरे बंदा � इल्ल क्यों बंसा बनी मलाई इसे यो टेक्नोलॉजी फिल्म में काम करने मानसिक गोलागी आई मिस अंग आई मिस सब पर इस जाने ले टेक्नोलॉजी देखेगा सम आई थिंक देर इस नॉट अ सिंगल पर्सन आई थिंक इन आवर कम्युनिटी हियर टुडे वो एज एंड सेम टेक्नोलॉजी रो तब टेक्नोलॉजी न देखनु भाई को भाई न तेही नहीं हो मतलब पूरा करने को जो को जो डिजिटली कंपिटेंसी बन डिजिटल कंपिटेंसीज बने को तेही नहीं हो सो विद दिस नोट मैं इसको फर्दर पूरा करने का ना सोच समझा मैं तो आई थिंक एवरीथिंग दैट वी डिस्कसिंग टुडे यू नो समहाउ रिलेट्स टू दिस डिजिटल कंपिटेंसीज नॉट समहाउ यू नो कंपलीटली रिलेट्स टू दिस एंड वील 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 ट्राई टू रिलेट वील ट्राई टू ब्रिंग इन योर कंटेक्स योर एग्जांपल्स है तो जाने रह सकते हैं मैं क्या so uh, with this note, can I ask you to uh, go to, sorry, could I ask you to go to Menti? Menti ma gaare chakye gaare nus bane, edhi ta peer sang Menti app sa hai bane, chayin www.mentimeter atwa mentimeter.com atwa chayin, sorry, ta peer liyo quiz lino ko laagi chayin Menti bane, gaare nus bane, app download gaare nus bane, Mentimeter bane, download gaare nus bane, DN sa liyo agin post gaare chak nus bane. रा मेंटी मीटर खोले रा तो मेंटी डॉट कॉम खोले रहते हैं फाइव सिक्स सिक्स फाइव फिफ्थ टू सॉरी फाइव टू डाउन कोड आनु बाय बने यू सुड बी एबल टू कंप्लीट दिस क्वीज रा मेले यह ऐसे क्वीज खोली सके कुछ व्हाट मेक्स टीचर्स डिजिटली कंप्लीटेड बने कुछ इफ यू ऑल कूड गो इन एंड मेबी यू नो राइट डाउन कपल कपल वर्ड Okay, handling handling technology. Uh, we've received one response. Um, information literacy, tools literacy, uh, internet access, um, training, uh, media skills, uh, understand and use technology. What else? Digital literacy. Um, rather than you know broad terms such as digital literacy, can you please nuance down a bit? Just to talk about like key things, just to like say actual actual um, you know, like the abstract idea, but not any actual like the practical kura or like nusna. Just to digital tool, evada kura boy training boy or knowledge and use. This is like no digital literacy, but not any so that um, you know uh, this becomes a bit more uh, say uh, useful uh, for the session today. Training, media skills, tools, literacy, uh, digital tools, obviously, being able to coursework, interesting. Um, what times? Uh, maybe in you know, one and a half more minute, I'll set up time on my um, mobile so that we know that we know when to stop. Uh, we have 18 people so far who have responded. Uh, could I ask you to go to menti.com if you haven't done so mm -hmm. and enter the code 566552 and answer the given quiz, please. The code is visible on the screen, I suppose. Uh, please was oh, sorry if you don't see this. Uh, if you don't see the screen, the code is 566552. Uh, digital tools. Obviously, digital tools, uh, I think it's become the most uh, visible word right now in the word cloud. 
uh, knowledge of technology, ability to use available tools, uh, quiz, uh, having knowledge of various tools, knowledge about ICD, pedagogical knowledge of technology, knowledge, pedagogical knowledge, knowledge and use, tools, literacy, awareness, uh, handling technology, expertise in internet use, internet access, media skills, continuous use, uh, digitalization. Uh, 20 seconds more and we'll stop Menti. Um, we have 21 people, 22 people. Right, okay, so five seconds more. Expert is in internet use. All right, so um, I'll stop Menti here now. If you haven't responded uh, eight, you know, don't worry about it. So what we'll do is we'll go back to the slide now and you know, continue with the presentation. Present. Um, right, so um, we, you know, I did ask about what makes uh, teachers digitally competent and we've had lots of responses and of those some stand in you know, some responses that stood out in the crowd was uh, you know being able to use uh, given tools being able to use them continuously uh, having that media literacy I think uh, I would love to discuss more about media literacy and digital literacy obviously they fit in with the narrative you know that that I'm presenting today but um, you know uh, I'm gonna I think I I differ slightly. What I was looking for uh, there in the response was um, a couple of people have, I think, responded. Uh, pedagogical knowledge, technological knowledge. Obviously, pedagogical knowledge and technological knowledge equally important. So, digital literacy my understanding research digital literacy It's a wider concept of uh, digital, sorry, digital competence is given. It's a wider concept of digital literacy. digital literacy nuance Digital literacy uh, abstract idea. I mean, we can go on discussing. Uh, there are theories written about it. There are, you know, research done within digital literacy. There are digital competence is saying mirror understanding, mirror reading, mirror research school finding. It's a wider concept of digital literacy. Just so you top it is Sano Media Clip slide mat dekhnu unsa kya bansa bani the person saying I know Microsoft Word I can open a document I can save it I can save as I can print and I can print preview. Tio sab pe kya unsa bani those are all part of ICT or digital literacy digital tool program literacy ho. Tera digital competencies bani ko say it's beyond uh, it, it goes beyond that. Tera the le say kya garsa banda kya re say digital literacy bani ko say um, top pe le say uh, kun samay ma. Kun tool project garni, or kun purpose kalagi project garni, or mali project gari ko tool le sahi, mali jun purpose kalagi ali tool project garno khoje ko su, tio sahi achieve hunsa ki mudain ta objective. Just so mano example dida kiri sahi, tapile mathematics padhau de hunsa, so after social padhau de hunsa, after la mano history padhau de hunsa bani, Roman civilization padhau de hunsa bani, kun tool project garni ta. YouTube bada video dekha ay ra sahi Roman civilization ko baare ma tapai ko lesson ko learning outcome fulfill hunsa ki mudain ta. Unsa bani tapile digital to YouTube like kanera project garni YouTube ko clips in suru deki class ko suru deki ante sama project garni class ko bit sama project garni aswa when do you like to use when when do you want to share that YouTube clip tio jen ki unsa bani that becomes part of uh, uh, digital digital competencies, digital competencies बने को तो digital literacy is a tool literacy is a ICT को चाहिए tool को मतलब literacy बने बन It's about being able to use it, you know. But when it comes to teaching, as I said earlier, being able to decide when to use uh, the given technology, for what purpose, for what for what activities, and how that will help you achieve your learning outcome is very very important and that becomes that's all part of uh, in fact you know digital literacy so um and you know digital literacy also includes you know more broadly speaking you know you being aware teachers are saying aware boy being aware of how the use of digital literacy will influence the underlying conditions of your school and pedagogy and subject 
तपाईले डिजिटल लिटरेसी प्रयोग भनेको मेरोमा ओके विद्यार्थी ल हामीसँग चाहिँ हामी युट्युब हेर्छु मात्र भन्ने होइन कि मैले युट्युब हेर्छु भने पछि अथवा युट्युबमा यो क्लिप हेर भने पनि विद्यार्थीले एक्सेस छ कि छैन त स्कुलको अन्डरलाइन कन्डिसन्स के छ होइन त्यस पछाडी चाहिँ व्हाट आर द अन्डरलाइन कन्डिसन्स अफ योर फेरागोजी एन्ड व्हाट आर द अन्डरलाइन कन्डिसन्स अफ द सिलेबस त्यो दैट 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 ऑल बिकम्स पार्ट अफ डिजिटल लिटरेसी सो that's why it's skills and understandings of all those complex you know uh, conditions that surround you as a teacher so that's what digital literacy is and this sorry digital competencies is and digital competencies is always progressive in nature it's progressive in nature because skills and related knowledge and you know awareness develops over time as you go on using them tapai jati prayog garnu huncha jati chai tesko bare ma anusandhan garnu huncha khojnu huncha त्यति नै गर्नुहुन्छ होइन सो यो स्किल्स एन्ड नलेज प्रोग्रेसिभली डेभलप वेन यू स्टार्ट युजिङ दिस टुल्स इन टिचिङ एन्ड लर्निङ एन्ड एक्सप्लोर फर न्यू टुल्स यदि तपाईँले गर्नु भएन एक्सप्लोर गर्नु भएन र प्रयोग गर्नु भएन भने यो तपाईँले स्लाइडमा देख्नुहुन्छ नि यो बिरालो ही इज ट्राइङ टु क्लाइम्ब अप बट ही इज स्टक देयर हाम्रो कन्डिसन्स त्यही नै हुन्छ सो इट्स इट्स यु नो इट्स प्रोग्रेसिभ बट यु नीड टु पुट इफोर्ट इफोर्ट इन राइट वे होइन and it also develops with you know uh with experience as as you go around experiencing digital tools your digital uh digital tools and when you use them in teaching and learning your competence is developed so you little clips and this little clip on the slide is called jenga you see your your game like jenga one so it's about piling up you know your sano kaat ko tukra haru huncha telai cha pile up garde jani ho ra tyo char char wada rakher pile up garne pachi chai euda euda tukra nikalde jani ho ra ab yesma ke gareko cha bhani this person in the action is trying to get that pile you know one one bit of the stick you know out without breaking the pile tya hernu cha ta turunta tyo sari carefully yesma chai ulle dhaka lyo tara yo pile chai gopeko chaina so what i'm trying to say is uh you know this is skills uh this is skill you know the the skill that this person brings comes with experience the more you play the more competent you become at it so uh digital competencies enhances and develops as you as you go about experiencing digital tools so while you may experience some tools you know in conferences and gatherings like this in other cases you learn about the new tools and features or solutions when you talk to your colleagues or when you explore internet or when you watch a tutorial on youtube or when you go and talk to people when you connect to a professional learning network so you know there are different ways to learn them you learn them you use them and you develop experience as dns are said earlier yesterday we've had some issues with zoom we could not do a few things i know i know the dns so i'm like you going when as a one more day is dns sir alibody experience on but we've had discussions around you know how to solve different problems or uh, you know we did go about you know solving those problems so the experience uh, experience based on experience so one example matra dekho i'm not telling the answer ko chahi ab the technical aspect ko kura gare hamle tara ke ho bhane when you start using technology your 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 competence is you know develop further that's what i'm trying to say and tech you know your competence is develop with failure uh, it's very common to fail when you use technology um, because when you try new technology when you don't test enough or sometimes in technologies don't behave the way you expect them to and what it does is uh, what it does is you know you fail i mean like the tech what it does is the technologies you know don't behave the way uh, they're supposed to and it fails when you when it fails it gives you experience what to do and what not to do with your students or when to use technology yeah, and when not to use it so um bishnu sir can you please not unmute yourself bishnu dungana sir um so you know failure is not pleasant obviously but they teach us valuable lessons and lessons of you know what does not work and uh, lessons that you need to think through uh, lessons that you need to think through technology when you use them now um these are different aspects of digital competencies uh, what i said is uh, tech, digital competencies is much broader than you know uh, digital literacy it's about being able to use technology and being able to you make those pedagogical decisions uh, and um, you know pedagogical choices which are directly underpinned and you know what you're doing tapai le chai 
डिजिटल कंपिटेन्सिज के बारे में हमें तीन सल्फल गये मैं के बने डिजिटल टेक्नोलॉजी सरी डिजिटल कंपिटेन्सिज डिजिटल कंपिटेन्सिज तब को फेलिर संगसंग तब एक्सपीरियंस संगसंग बढ़ इट्स प्रोग्रेसिव इन नेचर है इट्स सेल्फ स्किल्स एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग्स दैट यू नीड टू बी एबल टू यूज टेक्नोलॉजी इन टीचिंग एंड लर्निंग विथ दैट बिकज आई बीन स्पीकिंग फर मोर दैन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स ना I'll pause for questions. If you have any questions, uh, I'll go to chat, and uh, so Dian sir and Sagun sir could help me if you have any questions. Uh, Amar Singh sir has said that digital competencies is uh, more used in European terms, and the firm is used by. um others what about digital agency sir uh, we not covering digital agencies amar sir so you know uh, digital agency i think becomes part of uh, what you're doing uh, as a teacher you bring your agency as a students they bring the agencies so i think digital agency you can't obviously keep them apart from what you're doing and i agree with you that digital uh, competencies is uh, more popular in european context especially in scandinavia but if you read the literature it does tell you very clearly that it goes beyond the digital literacy uh ra uh, europe mai aaj kura garne hone there are other frameworks that talks about uh, sorry it, there are other frameworks that that talk about digital literacy and digital competencies dian sir are there any questions that i need to answer in particular uh there is uh, not such question at possibly they will ask okay good um i think there is one more questions uh sorry but prefer english language gyanu please right okay good so if there are no any other questions i'll go further with the uh, presentation so um you know tipak i decided to talk about tipak uh, over uh, other, other different uh, digital competencies framework uh, for a reason because it's very popular and it's been used as a framework um, you know uh, to when when it comes to enhancing digital competencies uh, but that does not mean that i'm not going to uh, i'll i'll what i'll do is at the later part of this presentation i'll also bring in another uh, digital com- sorry digital competency framework and discuss discuss it briefly and try to localize it to our context so <clears throat> so uh, i think we've all you know many of us have heard about tpac so tpac is uh, what it does is it defines the complex set of knowledge types required for the integrated use of technology for teaching uh, it tells us what knowledge you know what what knowledge teachers uh, need to effectively integrate technology into a uh, teaching subject a specific curriculum within you know a specific classroom context ke manja banda keri chai teachers uh, you know if you're planning to use technology in your classroom as a teacher so what tipak tells is tipak tells you what knowledge sets you require uh this much uh, basically um we will we'll talk about that in, in the next slide so and tipak also presents i mean tipak is you know basically it is presented as a framework for teacher knowledge uh tapai ko teacher ko knowledge ko roop ma uh you know for technology uh use in in i think mostly in uh, higher education but it's been used as a guide as a, as a framework in teacher teacher education programs yadi tapai le chai teacher education program bhaneko nepal ko context ma jasto bed ra med padhaunu huncha bhane chai bed ra med ko context ma chai tpac chai can be very useful vidyarthi ko chai competencies badhaunu ko lagi but that does not mean that you can you know it doesn't inform us about our practice as classroom teacher tapai ko as a classroom teacher ko एज अ क्लासरूम टीचर तब को प्क्टिस टीपैक इन्फर्म कर सो जस्ट टीपैक हेज बीन यूज यू नो वेरी वाइडली इन द वेस्टर्न वर्ल्ड स्पेशली इन अस्ट्रेलिया आई थिंक द गवर्नमेंट इज स्पेन्ड मे बी अराउंड सम मिलियन डॉलर्स आई कान रिमेम्बर द एक्जैक्ट फिगर्स बिट्विन टू थाउजेंड एट एंड थर्टीन इट ट्राइंग टू इनहेंस प्री सर्विस टीचर्स कंपिटेन्सिज प्री सर्विस मेनली बी एड प्रोग्राम में पढ़ने टीचर को बी एड प्रोग्राम में पढ़ी रह प्री सर्विस टीचर को टीपाक पढ़ा को लगी रेस पड़ी तो प्रोग्राम में पढ़ाने टीचर एजुकेटर को कंपिटेन्सिज बढ़ाने को टीपाक में स्टडी सो बिट्विन टू थाउजेंड एट एंड थर्टीन लर अफ स्टडीज हेव बीन पब्लिश अराउंड टीपैक इन अस्ट्रेलिया एंड दैट हेज कंटिन्ड ओवर द टाइम एंड यू कैन सी स्टडीज कमिंग यू नो 
uh, from Australian context and also from Europe and America on, you know, related to TPEC. So <clears throat> what it does is uh, TPEC actually uh, tells us uh, that we need three knowledge bases to be able to use technology effectively. We need to have uh, technology knowledge. We need to have pedagogy knowledge and we need to have content knowledge. So technology, technology knowledge, when it was saying, uh, just so, um, you know, kick it will available some what tools are out there in the market or what tools are available for you. Uh, for example, tools that your institutions have bought, uh, just a mere, as far as I know, apart from one or two institutions, other institutions haven't actually procured any of the, you know, LMSs or there aren't any, any other technologies. I'm mean, like, there aren't technologies that you can actually use. Uh, but um, that doesn't mean that you don't need to, if you, you, you know, what TPEC tells is, okay, you don't have any technology in your context, but there might be technologies that are freely available. For example, you may be able to use Zoom, you may be able to use Google Classroom, you may be able to use all Google applications and, uh, you know, um, other tools such as Padlet, Mentimeter, or Vivox, which I think Sagun sir talked about uh, in one of the sessions that he delivered, you know, uh, uh, I think two sessions that he delivered uh, last week and the week before. So, you know, um, those sort of technology, K technology, pedagogy knowledge, pedagogy, uh, I think because many of us have that background in education. So how you teach, uh, what you do at a certain point in uh, class, you know, uh, at a certain point of time in your classroom and, um, you know, what are your choices when you do uh, group activities, when you not do group activities, to say pedagogy knowledge with reports or content knowledge when you go saying, so basically it tells you that you need to have these three knowledge bases and what it also tells us is that um, these three you know knowledge bases intersect and interact with each other and when they intersect and you know interact both theoretically and in practice they produce flexible knowledge needed to successfully integrate technology use into teaching. So um, you're saying this obviously integrate by the kinds of theoretically saying even uh, speaking practically uh, when you integrate technology uh, when, when you plan to use technology what it is telling you is that you need to have all of these knowledge bases. Now earlier we said technology knowledge pedagogy knowledge and content knowledge because they intersect and interact once they intersect and interact they, you know, result in more knowledge bases, uh, which are technological, pedagogical knowledge, technological content knowledge, pedagogical content knowledge, and technological and pedagogical content knowledge. Obviously, there are a lot of debates around TPEC. Uh, just especially a boundary, TPK or TPC boundary. TPC or TCK boundary. Uh, use a pedagogy knowledge, pedagogical content knowledge, go kind of a boundary on um, you, you know, there are usually uh, debates around uh, the boundaries being fudgy, not being very clear. But what it is telling us is we are not, you know, I mean, I, I don't go after debates. Obviously, you can always find fault in things. But what I'm more interested in is what it is telling us. So what it is telling us is that we need to have a complex set of knowledge. We need to have, you know, this knowledge basis so that we can make, uh, you know, informed decisions, which are pedagogically grounded. So, <clears throat> so when you use TPAC as a guide, you know, you can decide what knowledge basis, you know, you need to work on you know what knowledge basis you need to focus on i mean your particular knowledge basis so that you can become digitally competent to teach with technology so you know whilst you could you know read and maybe see what others are doing um maybe you know what i'm doing or you know what the answer is doing what is also more you know what is also important to notice and realize is every classroom is unique you as a teacher you know you are unique and every school is unique. Every school, con you know, context is unique, and it's different from another another school. So, you know, you need to be aware of that context, and you also need to think, you know, what works in your context, and you know what may work in somebody else's context may not work in yours. And you know, the, this this micro context, as I said earlier, you know, of your, you know, uh, the, such as the micro context, such as. Um, 
dynamics of your classroom, tapi ko classroom ko settings, tapi ko bidar ti ko say internet ko access, tapi ko bidar ti le say sorry. So you know, tapi ko afnu context, tapi ko bidar ti ko context whether they have access or not. So all of these things come under you know TPAC, and TPAC actually considers those contexts as well. So um, and you know, you need to be aware of that as well as developing these different knowledge bases, seven knowledge bases, you know, these uh, three main knowledge, uh, technology knowledge, pedagogy knowledge, and content knowledge, and you know, other four different other, other four, uh, knowledge bases. You also need to be aware of context. So that's what TIPAG is telling. So if you have all of, all of these knowledge bases, uh, you, are most probably, you know, a very competent, uh, technology, I mean, a uh, competent, digitally competent teacher, maybe. But again, as I said earlier, your, your micro context can, you know, um, actually influence how and whether you use and, you know, and, and how effectively you, you use technology in your, in your classroom. Um, I'll pause it here uh, for a question, quick question. Um, and then I'll launch a poll. Uh, sorry, I've got a poll and, um, you know, I'll, I'll talk about the poll in a while. Um, I think we've got a question. Uh, I think we've got Pingo who is telling, you know, Pingo is a colleague of mine who is from, uh, who, who works with me here at the, you know, uh, UTS. He also teaches uh, digital, digital technologies uh, to a group of, I mean, two bachelor's level students. So he's telling context means classroom, internet connection, students, school resources, all of those. I, I agree with Pingo. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Pratit Baskota, uh, Sir has said, you mentioned about uh, Scandinavian people, pedagogies and all. If you can define more, I'll be happy. I feel you complete, uh, in, you incomplete the content. Uh, Pratyat, uh, would you like to be more specific? You know, what, what do you mean by um, that? How do you localize in your context? So uh, Puskar, sir, uh, Puskar Bhatta sir has asked, you know, how do you localize uh, this in your, uh, to your context? So again, as I said, TPAC is very much influenced by context. Uh, so how you localize is, you know, some of the things that Ping was mentioned here in the chat, your classroom, your internet connection, your students, your schools and resources. Plus, uh, knowledge. Uh, tools, school literacy, you, you know it better than anybody else. So what are your strengths when it comes to technology? What technologies you can use? What technology you have access to? And whether technologies can actually serve you that purpose? Just to say about, uh, you know, if you talk about developed countries uh, such as our, you know, uh, I mean, they call it first world or, you know, Western world. That you know, most uni most most institutions have spent in LMSs learning management system. You know, yes, the answer. Uh, you are uh, let me unmute you. Can you unmute? You're mute. Sorry, unmute. Yeah, okay. Let's yep. uh, let me open for Prasant the podium. He is asking for a question. I think he's raising his hand. Prasanji, okay. any question to you? Prasant Pordil, any question? No, sir, like I was about to ask about contest, but uh, Pingo Sir's comment made me clear, so I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Right. Okay. So, um, so how do you localize? Again, I think you, you as, I, as I was telling earlier, you know your context better than anybody else. So your classroom, your internet connection, your students, your schools, you know, your resources, your students, most importantly, uh, you know, your students access. So you think of those and you decide whether you can actually use technology. This afternoon I was, um, you know, maybe somebody shared a Facebook post with me uh, from a magazine or maybe a Facebook group page called Sixia. So this he was telling um, the heading is a Samudai school ma internet ko prayog. Ratesma questions are with you. Do students have? So uh, it was, it, it read uh, use of technology in public schools and it had a series of questions. Do students have access to technology? Do schools have computer? Uh, do our teachers train? 
Um, do you have resources? Do you have content? So all of those become part of your content. I sorry, context, I suppose, and those influence, um, you know, uh, technology used in your context. Uh, Durga Busal sir has said, I suppose claiming ICT integrated teaching learning activities is not effective and uh, not effective as much TPEC. Um, Durga Busal sir, um, not sure what you mean here. Uh, would you would you like to discuss that? Maybe you know uh, the answer can unmute you. Okay, let me. Yeah, Durga Busal. I'm doing it. <clears throat> Uh, Durga sir, so Durga sir, are you there? Durga sir, excuse me, sir. Hello, hello, yes, hello, sir. What is your query? Please put your query. Excuse me, sir. Uh, most of the uh, schools uh, they claim that we are applying ICT uh, integrated teaching learning activities. Um, but it is not effective as you as you thought before uh, implementing TPAP. So I prefer uh, this technique, sir. That I mean to say. So what you're saying is uh, technology can't be integrated in the public school. So uh, plus, miss most of the schools uh, they are claiming we have implemented ICT integrated teaching learning activities uh, like this yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah. it is not effective as we. Uh, CDL. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but I dare you. From... Yep. Yes. Yeah. Um, I think not only schools, uh, there are colleagues, uh, you know, you go through Facebook. Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to offend anyone. Please, uh, you know, um, forgive me if you are offended, you know, and it's not intentional at all. But um, if you're using uh, Zoom or if you're using Google Meet or Microsoft Teams and you're running, you know, online classes, you know, which are mainly teacher centric and you deliver a lecture and that's it. Uh, as as um, Durga sir just mentioned, you know, um, I think it's not effective. Um, and I completely agree with you, Durga sir, you know, on that, uh, you know, if, if you running, I mean, if you do, if you, if you use technology to replace your practice, existing practice, which is you know, content delivery, then it's not effective. And I, I completely agree with that. So that's what TPAC tells. So that's what, you know, digital competencies come in, you know, that's where digital competencies come in. So uh, digital competencies, they take in So do you just replace? Or do you go beyond replacing your existing practices? So that's what digital competencies actually tell you. Um, Pitambar sir, would you like to maybe we have one more minute? Would you like to come online and ask you a question? Uh, the answer, can you unmute Pitambar sir? Pitambar Powdell sir? Yes, I'm, I'm doing it, sir. Yeah. Pitambar sir, can you hear me? Pitambar sir? No, I think... All right, okay, that's all right. I think Pitambar sir can maybe, you know, talk later if, if he feels all right. Uh, maybe we, we are hearing some background noise. Can you please uh, unmute the person who is mute? All right, okay. Now, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I would like to see how many of you are teaching in a higher education context, uh, maybe BA or MA. Uh, I'll launch a poll on Zoom. Uh, can you please quickly answer the poll? So the poll is, uh, you know, the question is, do you teach a BA or MA course? Uh, could be mathematics, could be English, could be, you know, any other subjects. Can you please quickly answer the options are yes, full time, yes, part time, no. Just to see a raise of hand and to see, you know, the mix of. So 
uh, mostly no so far. Uh, freelance polling. Polling, um, I think. Sorry. Yep. Please use the same app that is given earlier. I know you to Zoom my answer. Zoom my digos. Azuran, Zoom my Ira Hegosa. All right, so it's mostly, you know, um, uh, school teachers, uh, as I can see on the poll, but we also have people who teach AP8 or a mid course. Um, right. All right. So I think I'll stop the poll here. Um, we see that uh, we, we have some around maybe 30, 30 seconds more, if you can answer, please. Uh, it should come up on the Zoom, not on Menti. The poll is on Zoom and it should be visible on your Zoom screen. So uh, we, you know, 33 people have answered so far and it tells us that, you know, we have quite a uh, mixed group today. Uh, there are some of us who teach, you know, BA or MA courses and others uh, who teach you know, school or higher, uh, higher secondary school, uh, 11, 12. Right, I'll end the poll here. I'm asking this because um, there are other things that, you know, um, especially uh, if you're teaching BA and MA or, you know, if you, if you are, say, considering to teach uh, BA and MA courses in the future or um, teaching a course in uh, education department or education faculty. So what I'll do is, um, you know, um, we will divide you into breakout rooms. technology um, mm -hmm. the answer as the host will, um, you know, start the breakout room in a while. So breakout room is um, smaller group within Zoom where uh, you can talk to uh, people in your room. So there will be, you know, um, five people in each, each breakout room. And I would like you to consider what skills and knowledge uh, do teacher educators, uh, especially uh, context uh, we also saw that not everyone teaches BRR MED. Um, public school private school so consider this not being there. What skills and knowledge you know, do, t do teacher educators need to uh, have or need to possess to use digital technologies uh, proficiently? Sorry about the uh, typo here. So what I need you to uh, consider is in the breakout room, group ma divide garincha breakout room ma gaera chai panch jana ko group ma chai chalfal garnu hosra please discuss and make notes so and after we come back out, back out of the breakout room we'll uh, you know have you share uh, your thoughts about your findings either the uh, answer a breakout room uh, could you please launch the breakout room the answer you there Okay, sir. There are sixty-six participants. Five, five. Yes, one group. Yeah. Equal to yeah, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, five. Automatically or? Yeah, yeah, automatically. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there will be a bit of time lapse. Uh, there's a breakout room. That carries a little lag. On, sir. Please uh, bear with okay. us. Uh, okay. And you have around uh, five minutes to discuss. Please unmute and maybe you know switch on your camera and talk to each other. And so five maybe yep. yep. Maybe your questions are kind of banana go bani. I was given to understand that mostly beard and you know people teaching in higher education context will join the meeting bani just to like okay. We also have people teaching in uh, school level. So maybe you know discuss both. What skills and knowledge do teacher educators of students? Hey, yeah. All the context ma kipun. Sorry, one one important point. Kipun context ma pura aye banda kiri chahi. One of our colleagues, Amro uh, chahi. Um, <coughs> He when he wanted to teach 
his students using uh, technology, uh, he realized that not all students, not all of his students were technologically competent. So that, you know, so how do you actually make your students ready to use technology is also a challenge. And that's a challenge, you know, uh, even, even in a, uh, you know, country like Australia. And it's, it's a global challenge. I mean, you know, challenges, the, the level of challenges can differ because uh, the uh, you know, kind of technologies that are used in Nepal and also, uh, I mean, some, some of the technologies are similar, but other technologies are different. So, you know, making students aware of these technologies is part of uh, obviously the institution. And so there has to be a integrated effort from both the institution and from from your you know from from you as a teacher uh, and you your faculty edi college ma padaunu huncha faculty aina bhani school ma padaunu huncha teacher le institution le chai effort lagaunu parcha tapai le kei garna saknu huncha la jasto ekta ma'am le kei garnu bhako agi kura aayo tai aru kura haru chai integrated rup ma hunu parcha now talking about digital competencies aina aba other than that now going back to digital competencies again what this model shows is um, it tells that you need to have awareness Awareness, when you go to the context of awareness, be that you go access to awareness, be that you go knowledge to awareness, this was already what you can teach, what you can't teach. So, all of that awareness plus practical proficiency. Practical proficiency is related to your technological use. So, um, sorry, I think this is, uh, let me get rid of this. So, what it, what it tells is, um, you know, the skills and awareness develop, you know, they are initially at the lowest level here and they develop, you know, they develop over time with experience, with, with, with failure, as I said earlier, as you go on, as you, as you go on developing new sets and skills, which I talked about earlier in the uh, presentation, you know, these skills develop and you move from low to high. Self-awareness, uh, practical proficiency. Test was already technology suruma adoption on Satapoli adopt Garnu. The phase nate, Utapil Sur Oyam, Lije Gorigoson, Sagunzi, you know, Sagunsar tells us very clearly. I completely agree that this pandemic is a disguise in, you know, a blessing in disguise. But nuns, I completely agree. This is a, you know, disguise, sorry, blessing in disguise because we started adopting technology. Adopting Pasadi Kunsavani, we have to move to adaptation. So when we move to adaptation, what we do is we try to feed the technology to our need and we appropriate technology. Sorry, you know, I don't have time to talk about this, but I'm happy to share the uh, uh, reference so you can go and read. Appropriation, eh? appropriation, you take the technology to your, uh, to your context, you know, make it fit. Just about the LMS is appropriation. LMS is Google Classroom. You can upload a course in the 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 Classroom. In the presentation, I talked about Samar. I talked about Samar. I talked about Substitution, Augmentation, Modification and Redesign. In Samar, your adoption, adaptation, appropriation and innovation are related. In digital competencies, your awareness and practical proficiency are both access. बिचारा ये वड़ा पूरा सा जून से ही बेसिक डिजिटल स्किल्स, डायरेक्टिक आईसीडी कंपटेंस, लर्निंग स्ट्रेटजीज़ और डिजिटल बिल्डिंग मंच सो दिस इज़ व्हाट सेपरेट्स आस टीचर्स फ्रॉम द रेस्ट ऑफ़ द पीपल हु यूज़ टेक्नोलॉजी बने को सही तो अपने लिए जस्ट ये वड़ा बैंकर संग कंपेयर कर सो नॉट Technological knowledge wala, advanced technological knowledge wala hai na. Tara tapai no banker ma kaan hai difference huncha bandha kheri cha. Tapai ko ICT competencies, tapai ko chai technology projects hai ni. Yeh aan nere gaare chutti ncha ke waa banker sangha aru kone professional sangha, professional aru sangha. Didactic bane ko chai aghi mahi lukura gara hai ni. Chai kima bane ko thai bandha kheri chai agaadi TPAC ma kura gara hai technological knowledge, technological pedagogical knowledge, technological content knowledge बने को यहाँ नहीं रहा हूँ सही learning strategies जो didactic बने को सही pedagogically जो पढ़ाई संग related बने को के तो पहले प्रयोग करने बाय को technology को सही it has to be pedagogically grounded everything that you do needs to be pedagogically underpin and you need to be aware of when to use your technology and what are the learning strategies that you can implement using technologies रा last में क्या पनी बंसा बंदा कह रही सही you as a need to as a teacher need to promote this this is called digital building. Digital building बने को क्यों बंदा कह रही सही using technology both socially and culturally in ethical manner. वो त्याने रखा है रचने अब तक भी socially culturally ethical बने पर साड़ी student को access 
equity ka kura haru equitable access ko kura haru chai yahan nai raha huncha so this is what for me ra agi maile aile samma je kura gareko chu this is what summarizes you know teachers it is i mean this this basically summarizes everything that i have discussed today so you need to be able to obviously adopt then you move from adopt to you know innovation both in awareness and proficiency but you also need to have you know didactic icd competencies you need to have learning strategies tara yo kanera develop huncha bhanda kheri chai tapai ko yo hernus ta access sang related cha as you progress using technology from adaptation to appropriation you also start you know talk, thinking about this when you start when you go about i'm like when you near the you know when you when you reach the stage of uh, appropriation or innovation you also think about learning strategies ra finally digital building bhaneko chai ethical ra socially सरी सोशली रल्चरली एथिकल प्क्टिस भोजे हो सही तेस में अब चाहे यू नो नचाइने काम नगर्ने देखि लाइन विद्यार्थी को एक्सेस देखि लाइन राइट हेबिट प्क्टिस करने डिजिटल डिजिटल एटिकेट का कुछ नेटिकेट का कुछ प्क्टिस करने दिस अल बिकम्स पार्ट अफ डिजिटल कंपिटेन्सिज सो विथ दैट यू नो आई वुड लाइक टू एंड माइ यू नो थक मे बी ओपन द फ्लोर फर डिस्कसन रन मोर टाइम यो तपाईले युट्युबमा गएर मेरो नामबाट खोज्नु भयो भने म अस्ति एक हप्तासम्म म युट्युबमा चाहिँ मैले अरु भिडियोहरु पनि थिए मैले खासै चलाउँथिन आफ्नै पर्पसको लागि म त प्रयोग गर्थे तर यसमा व्हाट इज सामर भनेर 4 मिनेटको भिडियो छ तर युजिङ सामर टु इनहान्स अनलाइन टिचिङ भनेर आई ह्याभ अ भिडियो व्हिच गोज अराउन्ड 60 मिनेट्स इफ यु ह्याभ टाइम मेबी यु नो ह्याभ अ क्विक क्विक लुक अराउन्ड मेबी वाच इट यु नो व्हाट्स दिस वन व्हाट इज सामर दिस वुड टेल यु अबाउट यु नो दिस अडॅप्टेशन अडॅप्टेशन अप्रोप्रिएशन एन्ड इनोवेशन So with that